Hello students, I hope you are all well. <coughs> Today we are going to start with new chapter, Triangle and its Properties. This is chapter number 10. Okay. So first of all, let us know about triangle. What is a triangle? It is a closed figure. Okay, what is a triangle? It is a closed figure made up of three line segments and three vertices. Okay, if you join any three random points which are not in a straight line, you form a triangle. Okay, this is a normal triangle. So, we are going to learn about triangle and its properties in this chapter. This chapter is very important for your future. This chapter is going to come back again and again with all the definitions and the properties of triangles till you pass class 10th okay so till class 10th you will be having one chapter called triangle every year okay so try to remember all the definitions that I'm going to discuss with you okay try to remember all the properties do repeat them again and again and again so that you have a better grasp of this chapter and like all ge geometry chapters you have to do all the questions of the exercises that we are going to do in your homework copy and you have to write down all the definitions in your class of copy now we will discuss about types of triangles okay so we have lots of types of triangles and they are divided on basis of different reasons so first of all we'll discuss about the tri types of triangles on the basis of interior angles let me uh, yes we are recording no problem on the basis of interior angles so on the basis of interior angles how many types of triangles we have first one is uh, let's say acute angle triangle what is an acute angle triangle acute angle is first of all let us know about what is an acute angle acute angle is the angle between 0 degree and 90 degree that is called an acute angle so what is an acute angle triangle if all the interior angles of a triangle are lie between 0 degree and 90 degree then it is called an acute angled triangle okay so this is an acute angled triangle next is right angle triangle we have talked about what is a right angle okay so what will be the right angle triangle a right angle is a 90 degree angle so right angle triangle will be if any one angle of a triangle is 90 degree or you can say right angle then that triangle is a right angle triangle then that triangle is a right angle triangle uh, you can also draw the diagram for this this angle here is 90 degree can name it a b c next is obtuse angle triangle so what is an obtuse angle triangle if 
any one angle of a triangle is an obtuse angle what is an obtuse angle angle between 90 degree and 180 degree is an obtuse angle then it is called an obtuse angle triangle okay so in this manner we have three types of triangles what are these three types of triangles these are acute angle triangle right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle and just for that let us draw a diagram of obtuse angle triangle here angle B is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree okay now we will discuss the types of triangles on the basis of length of sides on the basis of length of sides we have again three types of triangles first is scale and triangle what is an scalar triangle if none of the sides of a triangle are equal then it is called a scale in triangle okay if none of its sides are equal that means all the sides are unequal then it is called an scale in triangle second is an isosceles triangle what will be an isosceles triangle if any two sides of a triangle are equal then it is an isosceles triangle if any two sides of a triangle are equal then it is called an isosceles triangle and third will be equilateral triangle if all sides of triangles are equal it is a triangle it is affair we can write it has all sides as equal if all sides of a triangle are equal then it is called an equilateral triangle scalene triangle is one in which none of its sides are equal isosceles triangle only two sides are equal okay next we will talk about median of a triangle okay now we have talked about the types of triangles now we are going to talk about some line segments that are inside the triangle first of all let us draw this diagram what is median of a triangle it is a line segment from one vertex of the triangle one vertex of the triangle to the opposite side
which divides the triangle into two smaller triangles of equal area. It also bisects the opposite side. So what does median mean? Median means fees. Median is this line AD. This line AD is dividing triangle ABC into two smaller triangles. And what does median do? It divides, it is a line which divides this triangle into two smaller triangles of equal area. That means if we find out the area of triangle ABD and triangle ADC, the area of both the triangles will be equal. Okay, that is the function of median. It what is also do is it also divides the opposite side into two equal parts. That means here BD and DC are equal. Okay, so we have two things from the median area of triangle of triangle ABD is equals to area of triangle ADC and secondly line segment BD and line segment DC are of equal length. Okay. Uh, before moving on let me uh, tell you the syllabus of PT2 that will be coming for you. We have completed all these chapters, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, all these three chapters will be coming in your PT2. Okay. So do prepare well. The date of PT2 will be given to you at the appropriate time. Okay. When the date is being decided, we will provide you with complete date and timetable. But for now, keep this in mind that first uh, chapters number 7, 8 and 9 will be coming in your PT2. Once again, please don't ask me about unnecessary questions ki sir kaise hoga, subjective hoga, objective hoga. All these details will depend upon the <coughs> instructions from central government. Okay, CBC will be deciding how we will be taking your papers. But you have to prepare for these three chapters. And that is for maths only, for other subjects they will inform you at their own time. We have completed all these three chapters. We are moving on with the syllabus. Next is altitude or perpendicular of a triangle. So what is altitude or perpendicular of a triangle? Once again, let us draw a triangle. And we will. I will draw a perpendicular A here. Name it. perpendicular from one of the vertex of the triangle from one of the vertex of the triangle to the opposite side is called altitude of triangle and one more thing uh, uh, with this altitude uh, for equilateral triangle if I say median if I say altitude both are same things what I'm trying to say is for median sorry for an equilateral triangle only median and altitude are same lines okay for other triangles they are different lines like for this triangle scalar triangle is scale median agar draw karte to aise kuch draw hoti and your altitude is this red line your median would be this blue line okay these are different line if this would have been a equilateral triangle then th both of the lines will be coinciding both dono ke dono same line okay so that's all for 
today uh, we will continue with the exercise in the next class and we will go like this only one lecture i will give you theory of the chapter theory of that exercise in the next uh, lecture we will discuss about the exercise okay throughout the geometry we will follow the same funda and once again let me remind you all the questions of the geometry should be done in your homework copy along with their appropriate diagram diagram are must for all the questions in the geometry okay so thank you for your time have a nice day